Hi everybody, Quint Lears, newhomesales.com, bringing you the best in the business. I'm here with Ryan DeYoung with DeYoung Properties. Thanks so much for joining us. You got it, thank you for having me. So Ryan, we're at the, the Jeff Shore Sales Leadership Conference. He's one of the stars of the show. You were, you were hand selected to come up and speak. What were you speaking about? You know, I was talking about uh, treating how you treat your team and how that correlates to treating your, your customers well. It's, it starts internally having a great team that's passionate about what they do and, and being, you know, being together in your mission. And if you all are, you know, a, a cohesive group that's resonating around the, the same message, that's going to also uh, resonate with your customers. It's going to be passed along to the customer experience. So what we are all very much about, uh, you know, working together to make that experience for our customers the, the absolute best it can possibly be. And, and uh, Ryan is the president of DeYoung Properties. And as president, you know, I'm assuming that you've got all this administration stuff, but that's not what you said. What did you say the main role of the president of a company is? You know, it all comes down to the, the people that work for you. It's about HR and, and not in the, the paperwork side of, you know, the HR. It's the, about knowing who your team is, being passionate about your team and being excited about what you do. And, and that is providing a home for somebody. And that's a, that's a promise of what the future will hold for these, these people who choose your company to, to build their home for them. So it's about, you know, treating your people right and, and helping them uh, find the things that they're most passionate about uh, because that passion will spill over into the experience of your customers. And I thought it was fascinating. You said something about like it's not just treating the customers right. You treat the employees right and then they will treat or if the, if the employees aren't excited. To, to tell me about that. Yeah. If, if you treat your team right, then they're going to treat your customers right. It's so amazing because it's it's always like, oh, the customer's always right. And, we, you know, the employees, oh, who cares about them? But you're, you've kind of reverse engineered that. Uh, how's the conference been for you so far? This has been an amazing two days. Uh, every year, Jeff uh, just brings so many new ideas that are challenging and, and invigorating. You, know, you leave here and you just it makes you want to go walk on the beach and just think about life and, and not just uh, life, but you know how you want to go and, and change people's worlds as, he's, as he says it all the time. But it's, it's about you know, appreciating where you're at and how you can you know, grow from here, basically. We talked a lot about culture, or they talked a lot about culture, and you mentioned that. How do you create great culture in your company? Uh, you know, it starts with finding the right people. As Jim Collins says, it's about getting the right people on the bus and then figure out where the bus is going to go. And, and then once you have those people on the bus, then getting energized and excited about the direction you're going. Any last words of encouragement, let's say for somebody who's just been promoted to his leadership position, you know, you've kind of worked your way up. Tell me what one tip of advice for a sales leader right now? You know, to me, I'm always about legacy. It's, it's about not the, the egotistical side of legacy. Uh, it's more about, it's your gift to the world. How can you make this place a better place? And uh, there's, there's nothing that's more important than, um, than celebrating your victories, the things that you were able to accomplish, not on an annual basis, more of on a, you know, a daily, weekly basis. Those are really important things to help you get that momentum to go and accomplish great things. You talked about momentum. I remember that. Yeah. Um, and then lastly, how do you keep momentum? Because it's easy to get it. And then I like for me, I get it and then I lose it and then I get it. Yeah. How do you maintain it? You know, just always finding ways to challenge yourself, whether it's reading, uh, reading books, listening to podcasts, listening to audio books. Um, I, I'm, I'm the, the guy who listens to podcasts on double speed just because I want to get yeah. through them to the next uh, piece of content. So uh, it's always about challenging yourself to, to find a way to, uh, to get to the next level. And, and inevitably, if you're doing that, you'll find those things that you become excited and passionate about. Yeah, well, tell me tell me a book and a podcast that have positively impacted you and your company. So uh, I'll say two podcasts. The Jeff Shore podcast is an, an amazing tool that helps uh, in sales and, and thinking about your customers and the journey that they're on. Uh, and then the other podcast I love is Manager Tools. It's a really interesting, totally outside of this industry kind of a perspective on, on management. It's a great tool. Uh, and then uh, in terms of book, all, all of Jim Collins' books are just excellent books. They're great resources. Ryan, one thing I get from you is a sense of urgency, and I think we've lost that a little bit, but you've got it. Thank you so much, man. You got it. Be, uh, for having me. Pl pleasure it. having out here. We're, we're featuring the best in the business. Uh, best of luck, man, to DeYoung Homes. Check them out. What's your? How do we contact you? Uh, our website is deyoungproperties.com, and I'm Ryan at deyoungproperties.com. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much.